Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a meal prep video. So stay tuned and see how I meal prep for my lunches as a full-time working mom and for um, a little bit like for dinners and snacks during the week. All right guys, so it is Sunday afternoon and this is typically when I will start my meal planning and I will go off of the meals that I have planned for the week um, so that I kind of know um, what I need to make ahead of time. So a lot of my groceries come from Costco. Um, I do have a Costco grocery haul and I will link that up here for you guys. And I will link that up here for you guys so that you can check out kind of like my staples from Costco. So let's jump right into the meals. I'm going to start out with saying that um, we like to stay about 90% gluten free. Um, I say 90% because um, we all need to live a little bit. Everybody wants to have a piece of bread once in a while. Everything in moderation. We just like to live um, approximately like an 80-20 lifestyle, 90-10 if we possibly can. Um, so a lot of our meals are paleo slash keto. We really take out a lot of those um, refined carbohydrates, etc. Um, we don't like to have pastas in the house. Um, we really try to limit our rice, and if we're gonna have a carb, um, it will usually be a potato. For lunches this week, we have a lot of salads. So you'll see me prepping here. I've got some rotisserie chicken that I bought from Costco and I'm just gonna dice that up along with some tomatoes that I'm gonna dice up and then along with some cucumbers that I'm gonna dice up and I'm gonna kinda toss all of that together. Um, you'll see me separate out the um, mix with the cucumber and the tomato from the chicken. There's gonna be two mixes because Mike isn't huge on tomatoes and cucumbers but he does love Cobb salads so I will just put an extra egg into his salad to kinda fill it up a little bit more um, and then I will just do a ranch with like an adobo sauce type mix. It's really good. The adobo sauce I actually get from my local grocery store. Um, I believe it's like the Culinary Circle, something like that is the brand. Um, it's super yummy if you mix it in with ranch. I do wanna add here too that I'm just using Hidden Valley Ranch for these salads because I did not have time to make my own homemade ranch, which is a 100 times better, but I just did not have time today. Um, I will be posting finally my um, secret ranch recipe and it's super yummy and is like that really runny deli style ranch that everybody drools over. You guys know which one I'm talking about, but it's so good and is really friendly to a lot of diets. Um, I want to even say, let's see, it's vegetarian. It does contain an egg, so my ranch is vegetarian friendly as well. So like I said, a lot of my meal prep um, is going to be for salads. I'm going to hard boil some eggs here and show you guys as well. Um, I will usually use the hard boiled eggs for not just only salads, but for breakfasts too. Um, and then on some of the days where I'm feeling a little hungrier, um, I'll grab a couple deviled eggs to bring with me. And then we just make sure that the mayo that we use for the deviled eggs is made from avocado oil. Um, so we can, so we home make our mayo as well, um, which is a little hint as to how we make our ranch. Yeah, I'm strapped in Stuck in a song You can't turn off Like a merry-go-round My head is spinning I see you rapping about I'm sure it's hell definitely a little bit glistening and sweaty. I've been running all over the kitchen. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do while I'm waiting for those eggs to hard boil, um, which what I do is I just let them boil and then I will shut the burner off once it comes to a boil. And then I put the cover on and then I turn the timer on for about 14 minutes and let them cook. Um, so while it's doing that, I'm going to portion out some skinny pop. The reason why I'm portioning it out is because I wanna leave some for at home, um, but I also wanna bring with a container for snacking for the week. Um, so I'm gonna put three cups worth into, into one of these like little Rubbermaid containers. 
So I'll put three cups worth, I think that, yep, so three cups worth, it tells you right on here, which is really nice. Um, and then that will last me for the first two days of work, so Tuesday, Wednesday, um, and then I will repack again on Wednesday night for Thursday and Friday. So that's what I'm gonna do right now for this. And then also separate out some summer sausage and weigh it um, into sections. And, and then also I'll be doing that for the Duke sausages as well. Okay, so this portion is specifically just for um, like mid, this is specifically just for work week snacks. I don't think that popcorn is paleo, but it is gluten free. Um, so I'm just kind of being flexible with my diet there, trying to keep my carbs at less than 50 per day. Um, and in three cups of popcorn are 14 grams of carbs. So like I said, this will last me two days. So one serving has seven grams of carbohydrates in them.